Hi, I'm Mimi from Cargis. Whether you just started using Salesforce Sales Cloud or have years of experience with it, this video will introduce you at least to one new feature you never knew about. These are our tips and tricks for making the most of Salesforce, but you can also visit our demo center to see these 12 tricks in action. Tip one, clone and create your own list views for daily use. It's important to keep data at your fingertips so you don't have to dig around for what you need. By customizing list views based on the data your job requires, you can get a snapshot of whatever you need, whenever you need it. Tip two, use split view to manage leads or contacts in bulk. The dreaded back button is a thorn in any software user's side, which is why split views for contacts and records are so important. You never lose your place in a list and you can easily find the information you need. Tip three, create a new lead button for easy access. Picture this, a prospect calls and you're scrambling to get their information down. Half of it is written on a sticky note and the other half is in the notes app on your computer. Salesforce's global buttons give you a customizable template for situations like this. For example, the new lead button pulls a template where you can input contact information and notes about the call. That way you don't lose information about your future customers. Tip four, create new contact and new opportunity buttons with auto-populated values. Just like new leads, you never know when a new contact or opportunity is going to come your way. Global buttons provide a template for inputting data. But if your new contact or opportunity is connected to other accounts in your CRM, you can have that data auto-populated into the template. That means you're saving time and reducing the chance of errors. Tip five, filter buttons with relevancy conditions. The best way to save time with Salesforce is to streamline what's on your screen at any given moment. To cut down on visual clutter, create conditions for buttons to be shown or hidden. That way you'll have access to the most relevant buttons for your current task, and you won't have to worry about searching around or backtracking after a misclick. Tip six, use the dynamic related list feature for segmentation. Imagine you offer a membership or subscription for customers and want to run a campaign based around it. You can segment all of your opportunities into lists such as current, past, and future memberships. Your accounts will still be part of the same campaign, but they'll be segmented out so you can send more personalized communications. Tip seven, create an alerts banner using the rich text feature. Information will stay top of mind if it's right in front of you. So custom banners with alerts and reminders are a great way to keep track of important account information. For example, you can set up an alert on an account page to note that a point of contact will change on a certain date or to remind yourself of an upcoming interaction. Tip eight, assign tasks to teammates. Salesforce is all about collaboration, so use it to verify ownership for various tasks. By adding the assign to field to the new event form, you can assign calendar tasks to teammates across the organization. You can even assign multiple people to the same task. Tip nine, create email templates in Salesforce to use in Outlook. If you're using Microsoft 365 Outlook for email, you can customize your outreach through Salesforce to create uniformity in your messaging. You can also customize the label these templates use for your whole team to use. Tip 10, view high level results by turning off detail rows. Are your reports clogged with unnecessary data? Toggle off the detail rows option to get a more streamlined view. You can always turn it back on if you want to drill into a specific account or campaign, but turning it off will clean up your report and help you identify trends more easily. Tip 11, use the drill down feature in global reports. If you're trying to filter huge data sets for specific information, the drill down feature will be your best friend. This feature helps you sift through reports and dashboards to access key results. Tip 12 and our final tip, create a dashboard that can use the filter feature. Does your job require you to look at specific segments, such as accounts based in the same locale, 
or prospects at certain stages in the buyer's journey? By creating custom filtered dashboards, you can quickly pull relevant data and stay updated on the information you need to get things done. And there you have it, Cargus's top 12 tips to help you make the most of Salesforce Sales Cloud. Did you learn something new? Surprised that something else wasn't mentioned? Share your favorite time-saving Salesforce feature by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.